Hi everybody, welcome to Sky Factory 4, episode 37 with me, Sid, and uh, I've been doing a little bit of work. I've just been and grabbed some more dry rubber from the thing. I've also done a little bit of tidying them up here. Um, more importantly, I've been working in here, and you'll see what I mean in a moment, but first things first, I need to make rubber. So, the problem I have right now is that I keep on running out of this rubber sheeting. But you'll notice this two filing cabinets have gone from here. This one is now open and missing a couple of things. We're steadily moving through this system and replacing it with black hole controllers. The problem is black hole controllers require a lot of rubber. So, well, well that's not what I want to put in there. So consequently, what I am finding, uh, I also need to empty, get rid of all these folders from the file, uh, file cabinets that I've emptied. A, it's a long process because you have to filter the files into the system. And some of these files, I don't know whether any of these have got any, these and none of these have got quite the same levels as some of the files I've been dealing with. And I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, yeah, the, the, we're kind of getting to the smaller ones now, which is nice. But I mean, the if I look at just seeds, for example, hundred and fifteen thousand seeds I had to transfer. Now, obviously, I didn't do them one at a time. I put them into the folder, the filing cabinet down there. They get pulled into the system, and then you put them up here, filter it out, and they get ported out. But it still takes time, and. Uh, Consequently, I don't really need that block either. Um, it's, you know, a bit of a bind. Secondly, the black hole controller itself, or the black hole stuff, it does require... First things first, we need them for that. We also need to make these. That's not a problem. We need to make ender chest. We've got pink slime ingots. I think we've probably still even got a little bit of pink slime ingot left. We have. Um, and, of course, we, we're not short of pink slime, so we can... We can sort that. This is not in itself not a problem. The problem is that rubber. I keep running out of it. And I keep having to go over and get it. And then, you know, and it's it's tedious. Um, so today I want to look at improving that situation. At least to the point where it goes straight into the system. That would be a benefit in the first place. See, this is ticking along quite steadily. Um, there are no upgrades in there currently because there's not enough fluid going into it. However, we can stack this. So I can certainly do another three on this side, for example. I'm going to move them as well. They're not going to stay here. But we could also come into the top and we can start piping the fluid in from the top and we can do multiples of these. So each layer is three of these tree fluid extractors and a block placer. The block placer doesn't even require power. So if I were to go and make uh, another nine fluid extractors, that will give me two levels. So if we have a look at the old tree fluid extractor, doesn't cost a lot. Um, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That will give me two levels. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, out of iron uh, is not a problem. We're well, not out of iron, it's just all stored in block format. So we'll just bash a bit of that out like that. There we go. And then we can go back to here and we can make nine of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can make nine of those. That's easy. Then we can take the placer. Uh, and the block placer itself is that one we want and that's going to require a dispenser so we're going to need uh, those uh, hang on can we just go with those one two three four five six I only needed three of those didn't I one two three that's all right uh, and that should allow me to do one two three of those and then we just need some fluid duct. Uh, I'm going to need a little bit more than that. And I don't really... Uh, let's have a look. Da, da, da. Just go with hardened because we can. Wow. Uh, I know what the problem is there again. Everything... The problem is I have... 
I don't really have a lot of invar either, but that's fine. We can work, we can work around that. Um, there you go. And then we can do servos. Um, which is probably means I need to make some more invar. God damn it. Okay, uh, invar. Do I really need fluid 75, 50? I mean, they're not fast. So I think we can probably get away with those, actually, uh, if we had iron nuggets anyway. We could. Um, let me do those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so armed with all of that, we can, first things first, do I actually want to do it there or do I want to relocate it? Um, me, me, me. I don't really want to do it there. The problem is these are chunks and they're not bloody central, are they? Uh, but if we were to, I don't know, if I were to get some slabs going here. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. By fourteen, of course. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, interesting. Okay, in which case, we don't really need to worry about that anymore. We can bring that over here. That will give us a, a uneven chunk. I really don't care about the torches. That will fix those later. Um, and I don't really care about that either because now I've got the flight things. That's all good as well. We're going to need some more of those slabs. Uh, we probably want a gate to go in here. We're going to need to get some lighting going. And then we can centralise everything and move it properly. Let me do a little bit of ground preparation. And uh, and then we should be good. Alright, here we go. We've got our thing. It's equalised. It's it's lit. It's it's all safe. It's all good. We'll, we'll do something with this one day. And all of this, in fact, one day as well. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take you and you and you and you uh, and both of those one and two we'll we'll fix that later so from here we are going to come down and we're going to pop in a bucket of water there and a bucket of water there and that will be good and the water and condensator will go there and the uh did i only use a box standard servo that is surprising um we'll stick a servo on there and that will be always on and there and then we can take our latex processing unit and we'll place you like that and you're going to get water going in we're going to come in from either side and we shall put the power into the back Okay, we're then going to have, from this side, um, let me just double check my structure, it did go like that, didn't it? So, we've got a tree fluid extractor going here, and one going there, and one going there, and then we've got a tree fluid extractor there, there and there we've got a placer going there and nope and there we've got a definite lighting issue here now I don't want to put it in there because you know I I, uh, I want to be able to bring stuff from the top and we are going to need our I would have said oh it's there crescent hammer to turn that and that off and that and that off and then you are going to be like so so and so bang bang and bang and they are all going to be ignored Now we are going to have to move that because at some point I need to get the actual latex out of the rubber out of these. 
But if I just run over here very briefly and grab these, we'll, we'll empty, basically, uh, and we'll turn you off. Then we can pop in, I'll just dig like one, two, three, four in that one for now, and we'll we'll fill these up properly. Um, and those as well, and that one can get out as well, that's lovely. So, armed with all of that, that gives us double the latex input going into here. Now, at the moment, that's keeping up fine. However, what would happen if, if I got my act together for starters, grab some, some logs just to make some uh, things. If I were to um, come up one, like that. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little bit ahead of myself, aren't I? I'm going to go here, 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 and here, and here, 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 and here. And we are going to get you. We're going to place that's the wrong way around, like that, that, and that. And then we'll go and grab those four over there. Oh, sorry, those three. It doesn't matter that they've got a little bit going on in them. Uh, we'll quickly press and hammer these up. Because that should all be good. And we'll grab you. And if we repeat the process on this side, with um, that that and that and then what we do is come in here and pop you there and again pop that one there now we've got a slight issue with lighting that's not a problem we'll sort that in a moment in fact we'll sort it almost immediately because it doesn't really matter once there's a block there it really won't matter um and what we do is we again we come from here not there there and we come out to there now here's the fun bit we're gonna have to do a little bit of jigging there 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 and there we don't really want that connecting up like that nope uh, and Again, we'll just jig all of that together. Now, it could potentially be, you know, we don't really need to do quite all of this, but I don't know. I like it. It has a, a certainness to it, which, in theory, if we were to get all of these and more running, and I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe double or even triple the height all pouring down into this now what I would like to see is it producing latex faster than this can go um, let me just do a little bit of work pulling that down we need to pop populate all of these with a relevant number of logs and then we can forget about it uh, no we can't we do also need to get take that out where can I hmm I suppose I can do that and that because it won't matter yeah right I'm gonna do a little bit of tidying up I will continue this up and fill these up and uh, we'll see what we can do now the other thing we need to do is pull um, these out but we'll do that last so in a moment back in a sec all right, we're nearly there. I, uh, I, for some reason, place dispensers where they should have been block places. I have no idea why, um, other than uh, derp. Block place. Thank you very much. Oh well, uh, one, two, three. Got slightly too many there. One, two, three. Get rid of those. Clear that. Uh, right. So. We've got the four of those. I just need some blocks like some. I've been using leaf blocks because I've got so many. 
that they, they, are, they are stupid. Now, the other thing I do need to do this episode is um, I need to I need to solve my immediate problem of recharging. At the moment, I have to go back to the Android station, remove my battery, and you know, do the thing. Um, right now, um, I'm down to 87%. I mean, I'm not in any... God damn you. Damn it. Okay, on, let's try that again. I'm not in any immediate danger of running out of juice as an Android. But um, I don't know exactly how long my power is going to last. So a couple more, a couple more, uh, 18 more stacks of oak. That will keep that running. Then we need to do two things we need to well make it pretty that's kind of a, an important thing because uh one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine take one just to be on the safe side because my counting is terrible um especially when i'm recording and concentrating and trying to think on all of the things that i'm trying to do at the same time so let me uh get those in there yeah that's good and There we go. Yeah, I did get it right, but always better to carry an extra one save of the trip. So what we should find out now is that this is actually struggling to keep up, which means that we can now start with the speed upgrades from Industrial 4 going, uh, if I can find the relevant speed upgrade. That one. Speed upgrade 1, speed upgrade 2. Um, so we, I think we should have plenty of those in. So let's go and see how they go. Um, we'll try it with a one, and then we'll try it with a two, because you know, we're going to be wrong not to, wouldn't it? Uh, speed upgrade. Give me uh, one of those if you don't mind, and one of those. And then we're going to need to the ender chest to send the actual finished small pieces of rubber back into the storage system where we need to automatically process that into a thing speed upgrade one now let's see can you keep up speed upgrade two and it's keeping up so what we've effectively now got is we have got a system that is going to run indefinitely now we need to as i say just pipe that out um easiest way of doing that i think is just going to be an ender chest and um an item duct uh, with a i don't know a reasonable server on it let's have a look let's go for an item duct of there we go and we'll take a reinforced servo that should do the trick nicely then we need an ender chest uh, and we need some purple dye which will just pop into there plop 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 get rid of you that's okay right so before we go and do that, I need to think about what we're going to do. I would like... Have I got a crafting card? I thought I, I do. And it applies to export, bus, interface and things. So if I take an export bus... Helps if I type. Uh, do I have an export bus? I don't, but I will have in a moment. Next. So start um do i need to yes i do so if i create one of those and eventually we'll have an export bus give it give it a second it's obviously doing its thing uh export bus And if I then go and take a processor and I want to make some latex, is it? Is that the one I want? Is it? No, it's rubber sheet then maybe. 
Let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that one more time with feeling. Uh, that one is made with that. That is going to craft those. We are going to then put that into... Uh, it doesn't really matter, but we'll stick it into one of the new ones. Um, and I want to... Can I get a rubber? What are you? A dry rubber. Hang on. One of those. Right. Oh, and uh, cable. Cable, cable, cable. Cable. A little bit of that. <sighs> now, here's a question. Do I... Do I put you into a powered furnace? Because it's going to... While this is free... Do I really... I suppose that kind of... It, it would be the most sense to go in there... Put a crafting card in and I want to export that. And what we should see now is this stuff coming in. Now I say it really doesn't matter, it's free lava. So you know that's that is going to keep kicking that stuff out as long as it keeps coming in. The only downside to that is what happens if I want to cook something else. Hmm. Would it make more sense to have a... Uh, tell you what would make a lot more sense. I haven't got any of that. So, all right, we'll take that out. I have an idea. I'm going to take you out of the mix. And we shall place that into there. We need to go and get another piece of rubber, but apart from that, we're fine. So, rubber, rubber, rubber. Have I got a bit of dry rubber? Nope, but it's easily fixed. We've got plenty. So we'll just dedicate one furnace to running rubber continually. Um, I think that will work. Just borrow one of those. And let's just go down now. Let's get this done while we're here. We'll, uh, we'll stick a little bit of that there. We'll stick you there. We'll put... Um, that there we'll do the that will be only to the front and we'll stick a servo there and turn it on seems to be Yeah, it is running, it's just not, not the fastest servo in the world. Uh, but that's fine. That will do the trick. We obviously still need to prettify it. And uh, but before we do that, we just want to go and finish off this. With a little bit of that. One of them. Thank you very much. That goes in there. And we shall... We'll come back down here. We'll make you a crafting with that. And I need more cable, don't I? I need a little bit more cable. <laughs> and... There. That should be spitting out that stuff and crafting it as and when required and we'll get lots of that that is just going to run off the lava bucket any moment now a, a bucket will come back in I'm sure mm 
Hmm. You should have a bucket by now. There you go, it's back. All ready for the next one. And that will just keep running indefinitely. Nice. Reasonably efficient, I think. Right, we do need to... Let's, before we start going off to make things nice, uh, I need to have a look at charger. Uh, charging station. So we need to make one of these. So we're going to need to make a couple of those. That needs me to, me to make one or two of those. That needs me to make four of those. One, two, three, four. And what's that charge pad from mechanism? Yeah, not going to hack it, is it? One and two. Uh, we need one of those, which means we need another one of those. And that will go in there. Oh, no, uh, we're going to need uh, one of them. And then that will almost, what we're missing, uh, that. Bang, get me a flux. A flux, flux, uh, one of the, the flux point. Next, start. There we go. And uh, then we just need to find where we want to put this. Now, again, the, the unevenness of this anno it annoys me. <laughs> um, yeah, God. Here. I don't know why. That's just for some reason is, is feeling, feeling about right. And then we can stick, you can go there. Uh, and that should be, really? I mean, we are charging, I can see, and it has got a range, presumably we can do, oh, well, we're recharged, there we go, um, I don't like that though, well, let me have that out. No. Okay, fine. We'll do it the other way. I don't like that like that. Um, I do like that like that. Yeah, I don't like that either. Oh man, that's, that's going to be awkward. Mm. You need... Hmm. You know what? Go there. It looks less stupid than the hole in the ground, so that's fine. Right. Charging sorted. So now we're charged. We can uh, start and have a look at something. Let's have a look at factory blocks. Now, I've not used any factory blocks in this season at all. Um, because, you know, things... I would also like to have a look at the ladders. And I would like to make myself a few of those. That's probably way more than I would ever need, but that's fine. You make, what do you, how do you get two per? So if I do that, I'll get those back in theory. Recipe found, yep. So, how do we make this purity? Um, or at least industrial. Um, so my thoughts were coming in with our bronze chisel I didn't know it was but I didn't realize I'd made it in bronze and we've got a whole load of scaffold blocks so for example we can quite easily make this all scaffoldy and then get some lighting on it to you know improve the industrialness the industrial feel but as this stands We can just do something along these lines and then maybe across the top here. Unfortunately, we don't have a scaffold that um, actually has a walkway on the top, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but that's fine. We can, we can probably just get away with doing something like this. 
just to give it that I'm a big industrial machine feel. And then we can more or less forget that. I don't think we are going to... Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, do me a little bit more of that one if you don't mind. Thank you very much. And then we can take this if it will work. It'll go there. Oh, you won't go there. Okay. Fine. We'll uh, we'll come up with a different block for that then. Hmm. Uh, what works? What works? What works? What works? Large rusty scaffolding. Not what I'm after. Uh, what? Yeah, we'll go with that. That works. I think that should play nicely. And then we can. Uh, no, you're not going to accept that as a block at all, are you? That's interesting. All right. Um, okay, I need to revisit that. Let me go and have a look what options I've got. I'll be back in a second. All right, there you go. Hopefully, well, I say there you go. I haven't actually. It does take it good. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I haven't got enough to go around this. I should have done a few more. Um, I went with concrete, that's what I had. Um, I've also chiseled a layer on the top, so it's, you know, kind of there. Uh, I need a couple more of them. We have a little friend who's arrived, came through from the nether to say hello, um, has now gone over there. I may shoot him with a laser gun if he's still there when I go back, um, but, you know one of those things. Let me get rid of that uh, and that and that and that uh, and do that. That should be, I only needed two didn't I? Um, and then we can put all of this away. Now we've not got a huge amount done this episode but what we have got done is we've opened up the door for us to now um, make lots more black hole storage units and finish off that storage project because that has been going on for a while as far as I'm concerned it has anyway um, but yeah we've got a rubber machine um, you know what more you can't really say much more about it can you it is a rubber machine uh, let me get in there get a little screenshot because um, we are up on time for this episode uh, does anybody down here want to uh, experiment with my laser gun? My, my phaser? Huh? No? Nobody? Come on, there must be somebody. It's the only problem when you get your dome. When you get your dome totally um, sealed, it becomes... Ah, there we go. Uh, let's turn that off. Oh, yeah. Oh, out of range. Uh, we'll head back that way. I I like this. This is one of those I, I I've often wanted to do a high tech pack. Um and this really does give us the opportunity to do some of the things. Now I'm not sure whether I'd I've noticed and I've been looking at the nuclear craft nuclear craft um, yeah reactor craft um, site and oh hello there's still more of you um, and whilst it looks incredibly interesting it also looks incredibly complex now those of you who know me know that I am not a big lover of micro crafting. So if we ended up with a game which involved lots of micro crafting, I don't know whether I'd enjoy it or not. But that's for another day. Right now, I'm just happy. I'm an Android. I've got a charge. Um, yeah, I'm. I've got a rubber machine. We can continue on with the project to make the storage uh, much better and. Once I have cleared all of these, I want to bring this cable up to the next floor, and that is where I want to start playing with my replicators. 
and matter replication. Um, but until then, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.